I'm Barry Laminac, and this isn't what happened in sports this week. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Antonio Brown is a nut. In case you've been living under a rock, this is what happened. Brown got into it with Raiders GM Mike Mayock and called him a cracker, and people were like, ooh, is Mayock gonna take that? And Mayock was like, nah, but not nah as in no, but nah as in NA on the periodic table, which is sodium, because crackers are salty, and to be honest, calling Mayock a cracker might be the most accurate 23 and me of all time. So then Brown threatened to punch Mayock in the face and punted a ball and yelled, find me for that, and walked off because that's what he did because his feet are working now and he no longer has blisters. Look it up, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And then that night, Brown got all sad and was like, I'm sorry, so head coach John Gruden was like, all right, you can play in week one, and that was Thursday. <laughs> then the Raiders were like, yeah, we're cool, fam, but we're still gonna find you $250,000, which basically meant Brown's $30 million guaranteed was no longer guaranteed, and Brown was on Instagram. He was like, oh, no, just release me then, and the Raiders were like, okay, bye. So I'm assuming he used the X raiders filter when he was on Instagram. And Brown said he was just trying to keep it real on the gram. And now we all know how much keeping it real costs. 30 million guaranteed dollars. So Brown gets released and like three hours later, the Patriots are like, come play with us. So Brown had his agent send them a list of complaints in advance. And the Patriots were like, we don't care about any of that. Just don't make eye contact with Tom Brady or we're firing you. So Brown was like, cool, I can do that because 10 million guaranteed is better than no million guaranteed. And now Antonio Brown is a Patriot and everybody else in the world is like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Look, the bottom line is Antonio Brown is everyone's crazy ex-wife. Junior high girls were watching this week like, OMG, what is going on? That's a lot of drama. Even OJ Simpson, <laughs> even OJ Simpson shared advice for Antonio Brown on his Twitter and I don't need to remind y'all what happened the last time OJ was hands-on with a brown. Oh. Spoiler alert, he needed smaller gloves. <laughs> when asked if he thought Brown was going to be a disruption to the Patriots, Bill Belichick, their head coach, said, have you seen what our owner does? All right, let's talk some other football news, shall we? The Denver Broncos announced their football stadium will now be called Empower Field after partnering with Empower Retirement, the nation's second largest retirement services provider. The team also announced their new mascot will be a Werther's Original. <laughs> The Cowboys, Ezekiel Elliott became the highest paid running back in the NFL, agreeing to a six year, $90 million extension, or as the Cowboys called it, one wild card playoff game. In other news this week, Astros outfielder George Springer was shaken up when he collided with the center field wall after making an amazing catch. The Texans saw it and immediately signed the wall to a contract. <laughs> And finally, Rice University is partnering with the Houston Texans and offering a course on how to run an NFL franchise. <laughs> In related news, the university has also announced that Rachel Dolezal will now be teaching black history. I'm Barry Laminac. That's not what happened in sports this week.